and today we are gonna take a look at all of these brand new metallic lippies from MAC. And if you guys watch my vlogs, this is the PR package that I gave you guys a sneak peek of, I think in last week's vlog. And uh, it was the package that came in this magical, semi-vacuum sealed, um, envelope? What do we call it? Large piece of plastic? A lot of you guys were really curious what they were like, what they looked like, what the different colors were. So I thought, why not let's do a very long overdue lipstick swatching video. So here we are. But before we get started, let's give a quick shout out and a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Audible. Audible has an unmatched library of audio books, so many different genres, authors, time periods. They've got lots and lots of good stuff. Like I said tons of times, I love listening to audiobooks when I'm on the road, running errands, when I'm filming episodes of Can It Curl, when I'm taking six hours to do my makeup, like I did today. And generally, not only do I love the book that I'm selecting, but I also love the narrator. The book that I've been listening to this past month is actually Neil Young's autobiography, and it's nine plus hours long, but it's narrated by Keith Carradine. Carradine. I never know if I'm saying his name right. If I'm remembering it right, he played Wild Bill in Deadwood. One of the Carradine brothers I know did, and I'm pretty sure it's Keith. So you guys know that I'm a big classic rock aficionado. I've been meaning to read Neil Young's autobiography for years now, and I'm just now getting to it because I'm not reading it. I'm listening to it. So don't forget to check out the first link in the info box. Check out Audible for yourself. I've been recommending it to you guys for a million months now. Uh, so don't forget you can get a free 30 day trial by going to uh, www.audible.com slash bunny. Now into these 18 new lipsticks from MAC and I swatched them all and I felt like my lips were gonna fall off. This was a PR package and I did get a sneak peek of these because they do not officially release uh, at least in North America. That's the only date that I have here on this little informative printout sheet. North America, April 6th of... Well, this is odd. Wait, what year is this? This is 2017, right? <laughs> You're throwing me for a loop here because look at that, it says April 6th, 2016. They are going to be 17 bucks a piece and these are brand new. So they all have a metallic finish. I guess I've always thought MAC Frost lipsticks were a little bit metallic, but when they say new, I think they mean like new, new, like never before has MAC even made or manufactured metallic lipsticks. I've already swatched all 18 shades, spoiler alert. So I already have some thoughts and opinions about these. Overall, none of them are extremely opaque. Now you can kind of make more than one pass as you're applying the lipstick and then it makes the shade more opaque than when you first just make one pass, if that makes any sense. You know what? Uh, let's swatch it on my hand and maybe I can show you guys kind of more of what I'm talking about. By the way, stop, look at my nails. These are the best my nails have ever looked in my entire life because they are pieces of plastic. One pass, you know, kind of sheer, right? But then you just rub it back and forth and now it's looking much more opaque. It is in my personal opinion that you should never wear a lipstick without a lip liner. So I have this black lip liner from ColourPop. It's called Bull Chic. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plop down a bunch of that on my hand. And now we are gonna do a swatch of the same lipstick, then you really get, you know, what seems very opaque, but you still get a very metallic sheen on it. The only other thing that I thought was kind of interesting, kind of cool about these products is how soft they are. A lot of times when you have a metallic, especially with these, which do have a lot of sparkle going on in there. This was the first one that I swatched which is called Metalhead. And I mean, just look at that. There is a lot of sort of like pinky, 
purpley glitter in there, but it does not feel gritty or grainy on your lips at all. And these are just very soft lipstick. Let's get into the swatches. The very first one is that one that I was just playing with. It's called Metalhead, and their definition of it is a blackened purple with multicolored pearl. Ooh, pearl. That's int I, I didn't look at this and see pearl, but now that they've said pearl and I've read the word pearl and I have pearl suggested in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, it kind of looks like pearl. Up next is Act So Cool, which is a deepened brown with gold metal pearl. To me, this reminds me of coffee. It's like a nice toffee, coffee, brown sort of color. I like it. I feel like with this range with these 18 shades, you get a lot of the spectrum. Normally, in my collection at least, when you get a metallic shade, if it's not gold or silver, it's a very daring, bright, zany color, like purple, green, bright pink, all kinds of stuff like that. Very rarely do you see a brown metallic lipstick or just like a light, shimmery, natural color. Do you know what I mean? The next one is Zero Cool, and they call it a metalized emerald green. I personally would call this gator green. I love you gators. Up next is Royal Hour, which is a deep royal purple with blue pearl. And I really thought that this one was pretty. It is like one of those daring, wild, crazy, metallic colors. Up next is foiled rose, and I really, really liked this one. It is a brightened blue pink, and I feel like you see a lot of blue reds, but I don't feel like you see a lot of blue pinks, so I definitely welcome this one into my collection. I feel like colors with a blue undertone look very nice on my skin or with my eyeballs. Thank you for that. Up next is called Hades Fire, which the name made me giggle just a little bit. I thought that this one was gonna be like a bright red, but it's not. It's a, uh, what do they call it? They call it a cool red burgundy. You definitely do get a lot of that burgundy. I would probably be saving this one for fall. Up next, we have Pale Rose, which is a very, at least for my lips, sort of like natural, neutral sort of look. Uh, they call it a cool, muted, neutral pink. Up next, we have a Modern Midas, which is a muted gold with pink and green duo pearl. My goodness, isn't that a mouthful? I feel like you don't see pink and green a lot mixed together. So this one is definitely a very interesting kind of like gold shade. I feel like it is a little on the rose gold side. Up next we have Devotional and this is a metallic purplish brown. That's another very interesting combo. I feel like this one would look very, very nice used as a lip topper over Texas toast, if I do say so myself. Up next, we've got Cold Front, which is a frosted periwinkle blue, and this color is very, very beautiful, but I'm not sure if it looks best on my skin. I don't know, what do you guys think? Next, we have Silver Spoon, which is one of my favorites. I feel like this one is very space age, very futuristic, and this is, of course, just a multi-dimensional silver. You know, I feel like you can't have a metallic collection unless you're gonna have silver and gold. Shrimply, the bare necessities. Shrimply pibbles. Next, we have In Lust, which is a light, warm, neutral, and uh, this one and the next shade I feel like are very, very similar. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you're seeing something else here. Up next is called Diggin' for Gold, and this one is a light brown with gold glitter. So we just saw light, warm, neutral. This is light brown, but I think it's just the lightness and the slight taupey gold brownie colors that sort of make these last two shades very, very similar. Up next, we have Jupiter, which is a bronzed neutral. I sort of feel like this one is very similar too. I feel like we kind of got into three shades here that are just like, oh, like just one little tick off from each other. Up next is Pearly One, and I love how they say that this is a confettied white 
frost and I do feel like the glitter or whatever makes these shades metallic. This definitely does have some multi-color dimension to it and I feel like this would have been my favorite lipstick to wear when I was in like seventh grade. I went through this whole phase where I wanted all of my makeup to be white because I was just like obsessed with like Queen Elizabeth and I just like white on white, white eyeshadow, white mascara, tons of white face powder, white lipstick, white lip gloss. It was very, very extreme. And uh, I've been digging through a lot of old pictures lately. So I really hope that I can find just one picture of just like my all white creepy child face just to show it to you guys. This would have been perfect for that. I still like this one. It kind of makes me think of angel wings or perhaps gator wings, my favorite kind of wings. Up next, we've got disobedient and this is a deep burgundy red wine color and it sort of reminds me of that one we saw way 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 ago Hades fire which is another sort of like burgundy shade once again feel like this one would be great to bring out you know when it's fall and you're drinking your pumpkin spice lulu and the leaves are falling and who am I kidding I've never seen the leaves fall or we, we don't have seasons in Texas it's just hot or unbelievably cold, unbelievably cold. By unbelievably cold, I mean like 45, which is unbelievably cold to me. I don't want that. I know you guys are having like snowstorms or it's still like really cold. Ugh, it was 92 degrees here today. Two left, nightly ritual, and this one fascinates me because it is a blackened navy. And I really, really like that. I feel like, first of all, you don't see many navy lipsticks. I do feel like MAC has released another navy lipstick. I feel like that's a shade I used to wear a lot, but the only one that's coming to my mind right now is heroine, hero, heroine. I never know how to say that. <laughs> Female hero, uh, he heroine. This one, this is what I mean, but this is like a purple. So this is not the shade that I'm trying to think of right now. Once again, this one would be very, very beautiful, topped over a blue lipstick, which is my same sentiment about the last one, which is called Anything Once. It is a black and blue with multicolor pearl. And you guys, I might have saved the best one for last. I strongly feel like for some reason this might be my favorite one in the whole collection. I feel like it's actually a tie between this one and the first one that I showed you guys. I just really love the sheer black lipstick. I feel like, um, I almost said Vincent Price. I wish. I really don't know why I was trying to say Urban Decay and I said Vincent Price. You guys can just tell what's on my mind all the time. Just Vincent Price running through my head. Urban Decay came out with a sheer black lipstick. I feel like a long time ago, it was always one of my favorites. I don't even think they make it anymore. That's very sad, uh, but I feel like this is sort of the new wave replacement of that. And that was Metalhead. So my two favorites, Metalhead, anything wants, 10 out of 10. I also do love Pearly one and I also do love Silver Spoon. I feel like those are sort of like the four highlights and I'm gonna shut up now before I keep saying highlights, highlights, highlights. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, go to a MAC counter, check these out for yourself. I feel like you won't be disappointed and I do feel like in 18 shades, there's probably one out there that everyone will love. As always, I love the signature scent that comes with a MAC lipstick. Mmm, smells like cuppy cakes and I like it. Let me know if you guys missed these lipstick swatching videos. I am strongly, strongly considering doing a swatching video of the LA Splash Angels and Sinners collection. I felt like that would be a very fun one to do a entire swatch video for. <gasps> the package is just so lovely. And then the other thing that I honestly have been meaning to swatch and it's been sitting in front of my face for days now is the new uh, Kylie Velvet Liquid Lippies. I still don't know what the difference between velvet and like satin is. I don't know if it's gonna have a completely different feel or what is going on with these. And I really, I, has anybody done a video of these yet? I don't know. I feel like lately kind of everybody makes a video like on all the same stuff. So I don't know. Maybe it's like boring you guys if 50 other people have done it already. 
let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, your opinions. Thank you guys so, so much for spending some time with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow.